Hi kids, my name is Nicole Miyuki and you are here for a special Let's Make Art Matter where we create a postcard together. So today what we are doing is we are making a beautiful heart. And this is going to someone in your life who is creative. So before we jump in, I want you to think of someone who is in your life who is creative. Now, creative can be anything. It can be an artist. It could be someone who cooks. It could be a singer. A mechanic. A mechanic. Someone who creates something out of nothing. It, they can use a part of their brain. They can use their hands. An architect. An architect, yes. A mathematician. <laughs> Those are all creative people. So there's so many ways that you can see the creativity inside of them. So we're all using our imagination. And I think that's the coolest thing about being an artist. And so what we're going to do today is we're going to draw a heart, use our imagination, and create this different style. But channel and think of that person who you want to gift that to. So for our steps, we're going to use our oil pastels. Now we've been using this this month, and as you know, it's a really fun kind of crayon-like tool. It's really smooth. It is really smooth. So what you're gonna do is the first step is you're going to draw a heart. Now, to do that, I would kind of look at the center line. It doesn't need to be perfect, but somewhere in the center, and just pick a spot and then you're gonna draw a curve going up and then down and come back to this imaginary center line. And then you're gonna do the opposite because your heart has two sides. So you're gonna start here and you're gonna go up, over, and then curve back and connect because our heart is connected. So you wanna do that. Now, you'll notice that when looking at this, it has this kind of sketchy line look and so what this is doing is that we did a project, oh, it's right here. This is Keenan's, as you mm -hmm. saw. So this is inspired by Vincent Van Gogh. So he does these bold, expressive strokes. So we're gonna do that and use that as our inspiration. And so instead of coloring this all in, let's try for this one, just drawing strokes. So it creates this movement on our heart. And again, you can use any color because this is your postcard that you are creating. So I'm just gonna use some red. And then what you can do is to fill it in, you can add different colors. Ooh, I like that. So I'm gonna continue, think about it as bringing your heart to life. We're just adding colors to it, adding some layers. Giving it a beat. Yes, I like that. I hope they can hear that. Let me see if I can get it close. I'll do it closer to him. Here's your, here's your heartbeat. Okay. That is so cool. <laughs> you can see Keenan's. Adam's apple. Yes. I call my Keenan's apple, actually. Because your name's not Adam. Correct. <laughs> Fair. Fair. <laughs> okay, so you're going to add more to your heart. Then your heart echoes different colors. And so what you could do is you could pick any color. Let's see, maybe I'll pick the orange again. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna draw, I'm gonna draw an outline outside of my heart that follows those same lines. And then I'm gonna fill it in. And I'm gonna draw those same strokes. And fill that on in. Then you could pick another color any color and draw another one. So I'm just drawing a line. You'll notice they got to the edge. So I'm using my imagination and seeing, okay, my line would continue here, but because there's no paper, I'm not gonna draw. And then when I come back to the paper, I'm gonna draw it again. So again, I'm gonna use these strokes. And color that in. And we're just gonna continue doing that. I thought of another thing you could do. Yeah. People that are creative. Mm -hmm. uh, I think of a server. Yes. Okay. Or a, um, what's another word for it? A, a waiter or a waitress. So the person when you're at a restaurant? Yes. People that ask you if you want steak or fries <laughs> or other things. Yeah. You could do a heart for them. Because they have to be creative to ask you to say, hey, how are you? What's your name? They don't know you. They've never met you. Right. So they've got to be like, oh, how can I make this table have a good time and be excited about their food or excited about 
you know, where they're sitting. So they're very, they have to be very creative to talk to strangers all day. Yeah. So maybe you could do this project and then leave it for your server next time you go out to dinner <gasps> or something. How cool to leave it there? Yeah. That's a great idea. And guess what? Is that you'll see this is taking us five, ten minutes. Five, ten minutes. You can make so many more. Also, another idea for you your server. Yeah. What if you say hi? You know, hi back to that person because they love to talk to people. Yeah. Which is, a, which is why they're good at being servers. So what if you ask them what their favorite colors are? Mm. And you take your pastels with you. <gasps> and you color it while and you're you waiting for your food to come. And you do a custom heart. Look at you. I love all that, that idea. See? That is wonderful. That'd be so fun. That'd be so thoughtful. That would be so thoughtful and so kind. And how special to be able to use, I'm going to call it your magical powers, of creating art and giving it to other people. That is the best gift that you can give anyone. And it's going to make you feel good. It's going to make the person feel good. It's going to make the world just so much better and heart-filled. I thought of another person you could give it to. Go. Whoever got you this box. That's a great idea, too. To say thank you for helping me be creative. Yes. And maybe you ask them, what do you like to do? Yeah. You never know. Okay. Now, you can have... Fun and add more colors so you'll see that I have all my different colors but if you look at this I kind of have a mixture of colors if you want to go in add some orange Ooh, I like that one you can do that if you want to add some you also have white you want to blend some in so the other fun thing about oil pastels is that you can kind of blend things if you want to blend it with your finger that's also another technique that you can do um, Ooh, that looks cool that looks awesome so you can have so much fun with this postcard. And again, like we said, make more. That just took you a few minutes. And it's just something so special that I hope that you will always remember that you have this creative power and imagination inside of you that you can share with anyone and everyone. So we're going to end on that note. Thank you, Keenan, for all your ideas. Thank you for being here. and creating with us and we hope you have so much fun always remember that you are brave kind and creative and keep creating bye guys